The push to develop the north could severely impact coastal waters in the top end. That's the conclusion of a report written by the Environmental Defenders Office for the Australian Marine Conservation Society. It catalogues a string of regulation failures and says these will continue unless environmental laws are tightened. Darwin Harbour's rivers and creeks are the breeding and feeding waters for the top end's most unique wildlife. It's a very pristine environment, but it's not going to remain this way unless we actively plan to manage it adequately. <laughs> Conservation groups have compiled a report warning that unless the Northern Territory and federal governments start managing the top end coastline better, future developments will have devastating impacts. We need a shift in our thinking and you need to think first about is this development going to have an unacceptable impact on the environment? If it is, well, it probably shouldn't go ahead regardless of what conditions you might put on it. The report catalogues a series of top-end regulatory failures, including the Montara oil spill, leaching into the Gulf of Carpentaria from the MacArthur River and Red Bank mines, and the approval of the Port Melville Marine Supply Base in a biodiversity hotspot without a public environmental assessment process. It warns without an overhaul of environmental law, planned projects, including a dirty port at Glide Point, will repeat mistakes already made. You can't continue to look at all of these problems as small isolated pockets all over the place. You have to say what we are doing here, our decision making and our lack of legislation which prioritises environmental protection is going to create big problems for the future of the Territory. One of the things the report warns about is increasing pollution into coastal waters. The environment here at Buffalo Creek looks pristine. There are still kingfishers, darters and dolphins here. But the question is for how long, because thousands of litres of sewage are being pumped into this creek each year. The report also highlights the impacts of increased recreational and commercial fishing. The rest of the public aren't really aware that we're seeing vast amounts of reef fish being trawled across our Northern Territory waters and into our Northern Oceans. Even though Darwin Harbour's gas plants, dredging, port and shipping developments have been assessed and monitored, Indigenous groups are dismayed by what they've observed as sea rangers. We've definitely seen a decline in uh, sea turtles, in uh, sea mammals, dolphins, dugongs. Um, it's little known that we have quite a, a diverse population of seahorses here. Less than 1% of the top end's mangroves have been cleared for development so far. Mangroves are an incredible um, asset to have for an urban area because they do protect us from storms. Uh, they also sink a lot of sediments and contaminants that would otherwise make it into our waterways. Uh, and they do buffer us to a degree from sea level rise. The report calls for mangrove clearing to be stopped and particularly plans to clear 14 hectares to extend the Darwin suburb of Bayview. I'm not an environmentalist, but I know how important they are. Even children at school know that the uh, mangroves are the nurseries and the nurseries of the sea. The report also recommends making public input mandatory and to consider the climate change impacts for decisions on all major coastal projects. Jane Barden, ABC News.